Good morning from Stockholm. So it seems like everyone that comes here kind of does the same thing. Today we're going to switch it up and do something a little different. Rather than go to the Vasa Museum, Meatballs for the People, and a few other places that it seems like everyone goes to, we're going to let the locals decide what we do for the day. We're going to go up to strangers on the street and let locals pick our entire day. Since it is bright and early, I think the best way to start is with a nice cup of coffee. Let's go. Let's go in the design store. I feel like they have good taste. Hey, hey. We're letting local people pick what we do for the day. So we're going to start with coffee. Okay. Do you have a favorite coffee place? It's actually a great place if you want like a, a nice little sort of intimate coffee shop. It's, sure. It's a couple of steps by subway. Okay. I could probably point it out on the map for you. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it translates to uh, the little coffee shop at Sub. Can I see what the name uh, looks Absolutely. like just so I can recognize it? Okay, okay. awesome. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. This is proving to be a little bit more difficult in a foreign country because we don't have data. and. We don't know how to pronounce any of the words here, so I think we found it, but 15 minute walk this way. I had to make a short stop because I'm a moron and I forgot the adapter to plug in my audio mics to my DSLR camera without getting a high pitched noise. Found an electronic store and now we should be good to go. On to coffee. asking local people what we should do for the day and someone sent us here for coffee. Oh yeah, so, this is a really nice place. So what, uh, anything that you recommend? We I recommend to get one too. this is a banana chocolate cake. Okay, let's do one of those. I think you were going to do the... Yeah, I was going to do the espresso macchiato. I guess I'll do a cappuccino. Yeah. This has worked out really well so far. I got it super nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuban owner. I, I got most of what he was saying. A little Spanish, a little Swedish, a little English. Yeah, we figured it out. Cheers to the stuff number one. Cheers. We asked what their most recommended thing was, and it's this banana, chocolate and banana cake. You wanna try it? It looks super tasty. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. Is it worth it? Mm-hmm. All right. Dance. Did you get whipped cream on yours? All right. That's really good. It's also noon, and we haven't eaten anything yet. All right, I'll keep me full for a little bit. I don't know. Now we gotta figure out what to do for the day. And, uh, I don't know. It's hard. Asking people on the street is more difficult than I thought it would be. Definitely have a new appreciation for people that can do that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ask these guys behind you and see if they say anything. Mm -hmm. right, we'll see. Yeah. If you had an hour to kill, what, what should we do? Here's yeah, here's Stockholm. Anywhere. We're trying to get away from like the touristy stuff. So like if, if you were off, what would you do? Do you want to eat or do you want to be entertained? Or... Maybe entertain something, even just like walk around like a cool something to see for an hour. Yeah. And then we'll go get lunch somewhere. And... Yeah, yeah, okay. Called the Colony Lot. Colony Lot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so basically, in, in, in English, it's translate, translated to like Colony Lottery, kind of. Okay. You said it takes like 20 years to get it? Yeah, yeah. So I, I wanted to stand in queue. So like maybe like pay, pay like 20 US dollars a year for waiting. Okay. But I had to wait like 25 plus years. So. Yeah, okay. No, so that's, I, that's, my dream was lost in, the, in those things. Yeah, that's a long time to yeah. wait. No, that's a perfect idea. Okay, yeah, how close the houses and people don't live there. They just, they just have their like growing, growing stuff. That's really cool. Yeah. All right, stop one. It's a great success. Now we're off to find these little, little cottages. A little bit of a walk. So if it's as good as the first place, I'm excited. We actually did it. We found Tentelunsvargen. <laughs> yes. This place actually looks awesome. It's by a sauna, swimming beach with a rock climbing wall. And it's, I couldn't really picture it, but these are <laughs> like the cutest little cottages. And the, the yards are just full of roses and fruits. And we're supposed to have a great viewpoint up at the top of the hill where we could see all of Sodomum. Up the hill we go. This is kind of badass. you ask people what to do instead of just doing everything the TripAdvisor tells you to do because you've been missing out on this. We got an amazing view of the H&M right there. Damn, there's so many spiders here. <laughs> this is so cool. And you would never know that this exists because it's like you don't you don't really find this anywhere. Our timing has been pretty awful because we've done two things and it's two o'clock in the afternoon but the things we've done <laughs> have been pretty amazing. Ooh, raspberries. Yeah, take a raspberry. Hopefully 
Cheers. Hopefully, hopefully we don't die. Oh, yep, that's a raspberry. All right, brief detour to swim in the water and jump off the climbing wall. It was also freezing cold, but it felt really good. Uh, but now we are both very hungry and delirious. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and we've had that piece of banana bread. Um, <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm kidding. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can find someone to tell us some place to eat real quick. Letting just strangers decide what we do for the whole day. Okay. And we haven't eaten lunch yet. So okay. do you have a favorite lunch place that's close by? Are you like big hungry, little hungry? Maybe something little. Maybe my favorite pizza place. It's not so close from here. It's the Cafe Bastel. Okay. I don't know if you went there already. Uh, Cafe Bastel. Cafe Bastel. Yes. yes they okay. Really nice. They are bakery and coffee roaster. Yeah. And uh, the place is cozy, typically Swedish, and the uh, atmosphere is great. So. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Voila. Thank you both. <laughs> Cafe Bascal it is. So let's go. I think that's kind of close by where our hotel is. So. Should we group them? Let's go. I am so ridiculously hungry. What? I am so ungodly hungry. This place better be open. Well, it's like, it's the master of junior all the time. Okay. We'll bring out the food and the mercury and I. Okay. Water and cutlery. Thank you so much. Well, this looks adorable and picture perfect. Want to try it? I need some boost. Ooh, yeah. All right, that's it in the spot. This place is popping, by the way. I have high hopes for this. Mm -hmm. And it looks good. I'm sorry, this. Dude, it did take 30 minutes to get, but, and our, our tea is totally gone now, but that's fine. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look good, though. <laughs> Yeah, that is absolutely worth the wait. I think it also helps that they make the bread here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this light bulb blew in my head no less than three times already. And it's really annoying. Every single decision so far has been on fire. We're going to eat this food, go back to the hotel, regroup. We'll catch up with you in just a second. I'd say that was successful. Ow. We're looking for recommendations if you have a favorite place for dinner. There is a French restaurant. We yeah. still take kit. Take kit? Yeah. Okay. With a K. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. That's perfect. I don't know. Thank I'm you so much. All right. Well, I'm satisfied for now. That was really good. We have our destination for tonight. Was that three for three? I don't know. It's been a, it's been a fun day. It's getting cold. Yeah, I think it's time to put on some more clothes and then uh, head back out. Freshly regrouped <laughs> a little later than we thought. It's We ran into some friends and had a beer or two. So it's um, 9 o'clock and we're going to go to dinner. Going to Bistro Tekken. I don't really feel like French food, especially since we had a croque monsieur for lunch. But yeah, got to play it as it lies, I guess. So here we go. Crypto Iberico. Asparagus red wine sauce. Butter and sweet potato fries. Okay. Actually, it looks good. Like steak frites sounds really good. What are you feeling? Bread with butter. Thank you. It's the flour cheese. So it's elder flour. It has lemon in it. And then it has um, egg whites in the front of it. Nice. Um, all right. So I know I wasn't really in the mood for it, but everything looks phenomenal. We got Birko pork loin with asparagus. This is artichoke chips and some kind of roe. And then I don't even sweet potato fries rice. that went with this? Yeah. I don't know. You said your drink's good. My drink's amazing. This the butter was amazing. amazing. So let's dig in. I'm just gonna go in and get this stuff. Scoop it out and then scoop some artichoke chips on top. Mix it all together. Mm. I kinda know what I did. I just kinda scooped it all. I think it's more of a fork and knife kind of thing, but I don't know that I can. Or just like a fork thing. But that's good. It's like a it's like a sun choke. Got, it's not artichoke, it's sun choke. But it's like a cream cheese. Yeah, and like the whitest cream little cheese. Little pickled shallots. This is amazing. Never would have tried that. Never would have tried it. I'm so obsessed. I'm so glad. Let's dive into the pork. Mmm, let's do this. I just got a piece that was all fat, but it was milk in your mouth good. Oh, yeah. It's stupid amazing. I'm actually trying to get full. I am too. Just want to drink this sauce though. Yeah, that's like the perfect piece right there. It's like the most tender kind of pork. It's so good. All right, that was actually pretty fantastic, yeah. I have to say. Uh, so we are four for four for the night. Um, we just 
like weren't that hungry. So splitting an entree and then the uh, like sunchoke appetizer thing was super good. Amazing. So highly recommend. I would definitely go back there. It's super cute inside too. Service was fantastic. Yeah, another good recommendation. I think we're gonna go try to find a bar that one of the baristas told us about earlier. I would go to the pub called the Lochness, and they have their dates. Okay. Like cool. Awesome. I love that. Yeah, I like that. That's Thank my you. style. <laughs> it's about 20 minutes in that direction. So see you over there. Ashley had a theory. What's your theory? So my theory of why we had French twice in a row is that the waitress we talked to earlier, the barista, is actually married to our waiter. Because when we came in, he was so thankful the whole time and we were filming and I was just like, maybe they're in on it. And that's why we got really good French food twice. But just a theory. You never know. <laughs> just left uh, Loch Ness and it was a cool like oh local dive bar which was totally our vibe I didn't film a whole lot inside because it was packed we literally just sat at a table with other people but everyone was super cool and it was definitely like a more of like a metal edgy I'm dive cool. bar you know tattoos and beards and stuff which was kind of like a cool change up from I feel like I haven't seen that that much here